Does heat flow faster out of a hot object or a cooler object? Right? And then D is evaluate the lab as per IB criteria. What are those? Well, we're concluding, right? We have this model that heat flows following this model, yes? Okay, so how can we evaluate that model? What calculations that you are doing or have done or will do could you use to evaluate that? The values of K. If this is a valid model, then K, when you calculate it four times, will be about the same. Now, is it going to be exactly the same? No, probably not exactly the same. So the question is really, let's use our critical thinking here. Is there a trend? If K trends, say, downward all four times, probably it's not the right model, is it? There's something else going on. Right? If K depends on time, then it's probably not the right model. If it just bubbles around, sometimes bigger, sometimes less, right? Then it could be the right model, roughly the same model, yeah? Okay, so a little critical thinking there, and then talk about errors, talk about improvements. Um, let me give you a clue about sources of error. This model, Newton's Law of Cooling, is only true for thermal conduction. It's not true for the other forms of heat transfer. Is it possible that Beaker lost energy to the room through some other form of heat transfer? Is it possible that the, it wasn't exactly zero Celsius outside? Could be, right? Yeah, is it possible that there's some instrumentation error that it's not exactly that, you know, there's all these things, right? Okay. All right. I'm going to close that. <laughs>